first exploration we're going to have is the angles in our bodies. So there's three classes of angles that we're going to talk about today. Right angles. You can think of those as like the square angles, the 90 degree angles that you find in the corners of squares and rectangles. There's a whole style of dance called tutting, which is a kind of subcategory of hip hop, and that's all based off of making right angles in your body. If you're interested, I encourage you to look that up online and there's lots of amazing tutters out there. Let's start by finding some right angles in our bodies. It's very easy to find some natural ones in our elbows, in our wrists, move down to our legs, and if we go down here, there's like right angles here, but then also between our ankles and feet. Try to get as right as you can, like with your thighs and your hips and your waist. How many right angles can you make in your body at one time? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight times the other half of my body, 16. We go this way, and it's starting to burn. How many can you come up with at one time? Also in our hands. Where else? This way. And there's lots of different configurations you can try to make. <laughs> but challenge one another and try to find as many different configurations you can. If you start off with some right angles in your body, like changing them con to, to, from configuration to configuration, that's basically how you can start making like a tutting dance. Not that I'm very good at this, but who knows? You just keep on changing. Moving from your right angles, your right angles, the next one, how many acute angles can you make in your body? And let's review, acute angles are angles that are smaller than 90 degrees. And these are your little, little angles. They're from 90 and less. How many acute angles? These are easier to make. Like even just this is acute. I can do this. Like all the angles in my fingers are acute. I can make the angles in my elbow acute. This is acute. Maybe I can, if I can bend my wrist enough, maybe that less than 90. And I can like tilt my head and make this acute. <laughs> these angles are cute. And these are all less than 90. I'm trying to maximize the number of acute angles in my body. Like, I end up looking something like this. What do you end up looking like? That's why I did this with some students and they said the maximum number they found, number they found was 26. Can you find 26 acute angles in your body at one time? Let's go back to 90. The last class of angles are obtuse angles, and those are all the angles larger than 90. They're easy enough to make, but they're kind of hard to make a lot of that you're in your body at one time. I think the most we found was about like seven at one time, because once you make one obtuse angle, you automatically kind of make like a, an acute angle. How many obtuse angles in your body can you make at one time? Oh, there's more. Oh, oh wait, there's more. Cool. It should be really fun to explore the different types of angles you can find in your body at one time. You could even extend the challenges. Can you make a shape that has three right angles, two acute angles, and one obtuse angle? Maybe challenge one another, your friends, your different family members, maybe your pet. That's one version of math in our body.